Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they become your habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. And watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. When faced with certain situations, challenges, failure, making mistakes, criticisms, or feeling left out, what do you tell yourself? I'm not qualified enough to do this. I never do anything right. I'm so ugly. Nobody likes me. Do any of these statements sound familiar? But how did we even get here? Often, subconsciously held beliefs that were formed at an early age or as a result of traumatic or unpleasant experiences continue to affect our behaviors and perceptions as we get older. The goal of Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy or REBT developed by the psychologist and psychotherapist Albert Ellis is to reshape these core beliefs and thought patterns to allow individuals to feel in a healthy way, effectively deal with their problems, and improve their ability to function. As the author Stephen R. Covey had said, We see the world not as it is, but as we are, or as we are conditioned to see it. So, how can we strive to not be merely puppets of our thoughts and cut the strings that pull our minds? First, with awareness. Recognizing that we are experiencing automatic negative thoughts is the key to letting them go. Ellis established the ABCDE model of emotional disturbance. Let's start by looking at the ABC. A refers to an activating event or adversity that triggers a negative response or reaction. It can be a thought, a circumstance, or another person's behavior. B refers to the belief or thought about the event that is negative or irrational. C refers to the consequences of the belief or thought which often include negative emotions or behaviors. For example, student nurse ST makes a mistake doing something that others seem to be doing well at their clinical rotation. So this is the activating event. She thought, I just can't do anything right. And this is the belief. And as a result or consequence, she feels scared to try again, becomes unopened to new experiences, and develops low self-esteem. To be freed of these limiting beliefs, let's discuss how we can use D and E. D refers to disputing or challenging irrational or limiting beliefs. We do this by asking ourselves questions that encourage reflection, such as, Am I basing these thoughts on facts or feelings? Or, does this belief fit with reality? Or, am I happy with how I'm talking to myself? E refers to the new effect when the irrational belief has been successfully countered. Based on the earlier example, we can reframe Estes' mindset by shifting I can do it to I can do it yet, but by putting in efforts to learn and practice, I can improve. Rewiring years old patterns of thinking is a work and time intensive process. Therefore, active participation is needed. But as the author Ryan Halliday has said, sure. Paying attention requires work and awareness, but isn't that better than being jerk about on a string? For each time you experience an automatic negative thought, remind yourself that when you work hard to change your irrational beliefs, discomfort will give you the gift of growth.